Well, it looks like Donald Trump just made Cuck Schumer do the unthinkable. This is pretty serious, folks. Danny Gold, Liberty Writers News, reports that Donald Trump always promised he was going to find a way to be a president for all Americans. Well, today, it looks like he finally did what others thought was impossible. Listen to this. Senator Cuck Schumer agreed to work with President Trump on health care reform. Yes, the very same Cuck Schumer who's working against Donald Trump's nomination of Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court. Okay? This is the same Cuck Schumer who hates Donald Trump and everything he stands for. Well, apparently not anymore. They're seeking some common ground. They state here that Schumer apparently had a change of heart when he saw the Freedom Caucus turn on their own party and destroy our chance of repealing Obamacare. Now, there were some uh, pretty good reasons why the Freedom Caucus decided to, uh, uh, to get rid of the Ryan Care, but that's for another video. Now, they state here, Senator Schumer is so intent with working with Trump that he went on uh, two, two talk shows today to candidly reach his hand out to the president. Take a look. Him. He ran as a populist against the Democratic and Republican establishments. He ran as a defender of the middle class. The minute he got into office, maybe led by Vice President Pence and some of the others, he moved so far the hard right that it's virtually impossible for us to work with him. If he changes, he could have a different presidency. But he's going to have to tell the Freedom Caucus and the hard right special wealthy interests who are dominating his presidency, but he didn't campaign for them, he campaigned on the opposite, he's going to have to tell them he can't work with them and we'll, be, we'll, we'll certainly look at his proposals, but it's going to be guided by our values. On the one hand, we're not going to oppose things because the name Trump is on it, but we're not going to uh, compromise our values away and help the well-to-do and hurt the middle class and the poorer people. That's what he's been doing so far. I think the losers are Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer because now they own Obamacare. They own it, 100% own it. And this is not a Republican health care this is not anything but a Democrat health care. And they have Obamacare for a little while longer until it ceases to exist, which it will at some point in the near future. And just remember, this is not our bill. This is their bill. Okay, Senator, your reaction? Well, it's a tall tale, another one by uh, President Trump. The, they never reached out to us. They never talked to us. They never said, how can we work together to make it better? The failure is, of course, completely among uh, the Republicans, President Trump and the Congress. They weren't even trying to get Democrats involved. And now it's about time for the president to lead, not to name call, not to blame, but to lead, to simply say people are going to suffer and someone's to blame, that makes no sense at all. If you're a real president, you care about people suffering, and we're ready to work with the president. Let them take repeal off the table. Let him and uh, Speaker Ryan, Mitch McConnell say, we're not repealing, and we'll work with improving Obamacare. Uh, we'll work with them on improving Obamacare. But in the meantime, for the president to do things to make Obamacare worse and have millions of people suffer, to make sure it doesn't work when CBO says it is working, he's wrong about that, that's not being a president. Okay, so not exactly a ringing endorsement, but it appears to be a, a, a crack. You know, it, be, it, it appears to be a crack. Now, my concern is I think Trump should be moving closer to the Liberty Caucus, the Freedom Caucus, and further from the Democrats. But I understand that they're in Washington, you have to reach across the aisle. You've got to reach some consensus with people if you want to get stuff done. Um, I really hope that doesn't mean that he's going to be, you know, compromising some core values uh, that we as conservatives believe in uh, by capitulating some level of deal with these Democrats, especially uh, Cuck Schumer. Now, uh, they write here that knowing President Trump is a great negotiator, he will probably take him up on the offer and get the ball rolling. I think at this point Trump is sick and tired of the Coke-controlled Tea Party. Uh, one member of the Freedom Caucus, Ted Poe from Texas, uh, he said he was so upset by the no's that he left the caucus altogether, and he tweeted this out. Thanks for your leadership, Donald Trump and Speaker Ryan. Some only want to be the party of no and would have voted against the Ten Commandments. <laughs> pretty harsh, but pretty true. They write here, basically, Donald Trump made the impossible possible. Again, he's getting Democrats and Republicans to finally sit down 
and work together again, and they don't even realize it. So, what are your thoughts about that? Uh, you know, I understand. Like I said, you got to you got to cross the aisle. You got to reach a hand. You got to give an olive branch. Maybe this is the start of something like that. I don't know. But uh, comment below, subscribe for updates. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share this report on your social networks. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report. And to get more videos like this, become a Next News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.